I spent some time in Brazil as well. I saw very different things. Somehow this time made me uh, decide for being an orthodontist. Today, we're joined by Dr. Nuno Sousa Dias, an orthodontist, innovator, and international speaker. He is an active member of the European Academy of Aesthetic Dentistry, has lectured in over 20 countries, and leads his private clinic, Identify, in Portugal. With a passion for blending science, aesthetics, and patient care, Dr. Nuno brings a truly global perspective on modern orthodontics. So when I finished the program and I went back to my uh, country, I had in mind just being more uh, into adult treatment. Not a clinic full of kids. A lot of people think that orthodontics are only for kids. It's not true. And and there's so much of auto that helps out in even in my treatment, perio and especially pros. The orthodontic language is different from dentist language. So when you talk, there is a miscommunication between both of them. How did you end up working in so many places in different countries and seeing these adult which are patients, which are hard because auto needs you to continuously monitor and go on. Yeah, I think 